we are going to explain the different steps in order to configure your AR Core SDK for Unity and use the AR Robotic Industrial in your projects. So the first thing you have to do is go to releases of the AR Core and download this for Unity. The next step is to go to file, build settings, player settings and in XR settings enable the AR Core supported. Once you have done that, you can import our package and you will see the following folders. You will have the Robotic Industrial Dynamic, which has a readme documentation and a specific tutorial that implements a simple interaction with a robotic arm. If you hit play and you move your, um, your keyboard, you press your keyboard in A and D, W, S, uh, K and E, Z and C, you will be able to move the robotic arm and close the grips by X. So that's what you have in the scene of the robotic industrial arm. But for the AR, we have another prefab that you can open in the prefab folder and it's going to be called AR robotic arm. So if you import that into the hierarchy and if you move it, in order to face the camera, if you move it in order to face the camera, you will be able to move the different degrees of freedom by touching the different sliders, as you can see here. So that's what you are going to be able to do in the AR space once you have instantiated the game object. To instantiate the game object, use the AR Robotic Industrial, which uses the detected plane prefab and the robot prefab which I have explained just a few seconds ago.